Now, first thing about this question is you should know how to calculate the mean of a set of data, right? So this is a formula you must memorize just to go over it. The average or mean, they, they are the same thing, is equal to the sum of the numbers in a set uh, over the number of numbers or how many numbers are in a set. So for a data set X, for example, there are four numbers. We would add them up, five plus nine plus nine plus 13. Uh, in data set Y, there are five numbers. And so that would be our denominator. But in this case, we do not need to actually calculate the mean. And if you're doing that, you're really just wasting time. Uh, the, there's a couple reasons I know that. One is the means or the data sets, I should say, are so similar that we should be able to just kind of look at it and understand the difference. But also remember, this is number two out of 22 questions. We're early in the section. This is supposed to be easy. So there probably is this little shortcut. You could calculate the means, but really you shouldn't need to. What we should notice is most of each set is the same, right? So all of the numbers from data set X are also in data set Y, right? It's a one to one, five, nine, nine, 13. And then data set Y has this extra number 27 that is much larger than all the others. So what's gonna happen? Well, if that's the exact same data set, plus a bigger number, it's gonna pull the average up. It's going to increase the overall value of the set. And that's kind of what mean is, is kind of measuring. So we should be able to get that just by how different that number is from all the others and the similarity between the two sets. So uh, just make sure you read the question or the choices correctly. The mean of data set X is greater than the mean of data set Y. No, that's backwards. It's choice B. The mean of data set X is less than the mean of data set Y. So definitely memorize the formula, understand how to calculate it, but pay attention to where you are in the section because a lot of times with these statistics questions, it's much more about understanding a concept than actually computing all the different components uh, of the statistics for the question.